is that I'm very aware that this is completely different than we ever done before. Last year's group didn't get anything. Uh, and then we always had an ace night over the last 20 years in the school. So could you take one minute to remember your parents that haven't had the chance to actually see you graduate? And I know as a parent, I would actually feel that I'd missed out if I didn't see my son or daughter on their graduation day. So could I, um, could I um, ask just for 20 seconds, just remember your parents, and especially parents that have passed away, I realise that some of you have lost your par one parent, so I'd like just you, could you, 20 seconds just to take before we start. Okay, could we just grab our booklets and uh, we're going to have a blessing from Father Jordan for the future. And it's just inside the back page, lads, it's a prayer for graduates. And uh, we thank Father Jordan for coming uh, here today just to bestow this blessing on you fine young gentlemen. Thank you. Boys, good afternoon. Coming out here, which was surrounded by the wild man, reminds me of a monkey enclosure in the zoo. It's something that come in very handy for us out here, for yourselves especially, in these COVID times to have stuff outdoors, which we can all appreciate all the more, even though the weather is very changing at the moment and it's not too hectic, we can call it summertime really. So boys, just wish you the very best of luck. Um, I'm leaving cert is probably a, well, it's maybe a bit more conflict this year than last year. A bit more certain what you do. So just to wish you the very best luck and enjoy life, and make the best of it, and and to do your best. That's all is very important because we have only one life and one chance. And you know nothing we do is, is ever a dress rehearsal because what we do today, you know, today is only for today. The now is only for the now. Make the best of what what, what is now and give up our best, that's very important, and care for the people around us, and also to say thank you to, to those uh, involved in our lives, to, to your, your parents, to, to your, your teachers, to uh, all those who played a part to, in bringing you to the stage of your, of your life. That's all very important. And to appreciate uh, all that, that, that life brings you, all that life gives you, and the people that are involved to help you along that way. So I'm going to do a, 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 a book, lads, and I'm going to pray here as well. We're going to use. And then we'll make the sign of the cross in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. So maybe, to, maybe just to quiet ourselves, to maybe just close your eyes for, 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 for a moment and, and to you know, turn to God and to be present to, to the God who gives us life and, and who blesses us with his life and who, who gives us his, his strength this time. What I'll do is we'll, we'll do all that, we'll say that prayer together boys, I'll do another prayer there here. So we'll, we'll do that prayer in the book in a few seconds. So let us pray. God has given us the power to create beauty, to make another smile, to be a healing presence in someone's sorrow, to bring justice to the oppressed, to console people in difficulty, enjoy and peace to others, to help people in need, to laugh and enjoy life, to do good and to turn from evil, to forgive those who hurt us and most of all to love. Let us pray that God will continue to grace us with love and mercy and the power to spread that love to others during our journey in life. Now boys, we'll let us pray together. Sign your book. Heavenly Father, surround those, likewise. Heavenly Father, surround those who are graduating with your grace. Bless them with hope so that they may move into the future with eager and open hearts. Help them to put the knowledge, skills, and the insights gained through their education 
choose for the good of all humankind. His fervent belief in the goodness of life, even when faced with challenges and difficulties, as they commence with their lives, and they grow ever more grateful and wise. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. So together we'll say that our Father, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil men. So the Lord bless us and keep us and journey with us and be the instrument of all our lives and the guide of our lives and the inspiration of all our lives. From the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Boys, enjoy the summer and to the staff and manage enjoy the summer too. Hopefully we'll, maybe we'll come back for a with less COVID, but there's no guarantee at the minute. But hopefully we'll get everyone will get the, I got the vaccine number of months ago, so I'm looking at the second one probably in two months' time. The vaccine is coming on the way and this girl does work and it's worth getting the boys, even though some people have different views, but it's worth kind of if you want to live and you want to travel. I love Mr. Scully as well, but he, <laughs> he did call me. Eugene, you knew it was going to come here. I was the sen senior prefect in this school, and he called me the biggest eagle of a head boy that ever existed. Uh, far from the biggest eagle, one of the very better ones we ever had was Dara Powell. He didn't really get a chance to lead, but he did when he could. And uh, we'll have the address from uh, Dara Powell, our senior prefect for the class of 2021 now. Thank you. Come ahead, Dara. Well, firstly, I'd like to welcome you all here to the graduation of the class of 2021. I suppose this is a celebration of the last six years we've had together. Uh, you have asked many people to say secondary school was the best days of their life. I can say when we look back on this in 30, 40 years' time, we'll also look back on this time very fondly. It all would have started on day one together. We would have had feelings of nerves, anticipation and excitement. We were split into our five class groups, Benedicts, Bernards, Brendans, Benjamins and Brogans. And for such a large group, I feel like we've really bonded together and connected with lo lots of long-lasting friendships. We've had many highs from day trips away, football, any time we left the school and within the school we had great times. I suppose the Belmont trip was the most memorable for myself. <laughs> it was great experiences, time spent with friends and just great crap in general. I suppose we have to note the last two years have been extremely unusual for all of us. It's an unprecedented leave insert, it's never been done before. I suppose it shows the character and resilience of everyone here in front of me that was sitting here on the day of our graduation. And next year we're going to end up going our separate ways. Some of us won't ever see each other again. Some of us will remain close friends and some of us will see each other down the street in 10, 20 years. And so, but the one thing that we'll all have in common is that we are the Patrician High School class of 2021 and we wore the uniform together. I also want to say a few thank yous. Uh, firstly, to all the teachers. It's been a difficult year, the last two years for them as well as us. And I want to really acknowledge how you all adapted to online schooling and providing our education. I think it's really appreciated from all the lads, especially and over the last six years, we were just really thankful. Also, a special mention to Bernie, Francie, Sheila, Mina, Mo, and Sandra, and the rest of the canteen staff. They've also helped us over the last few years. I, I think all the lads have really appreciated any help they've provided to us. Uh, I then want to thank Mr. Mark and Miss McAdoo for organising the graduation. I feel I was personally delighted when we found out we, something was going to be organised, and I think it's appreciated by the lads that we're able to do something to finish off our school time. Uh, and, and finally, I want to thank our year head, Mr. Scully, and I want to wish him the very best retirement. He's been a legend of the school for years now, and I was lucky enough to have him for five of my six years. And his work ethic and love for teaching you see every day. He spent many of the lunchtime and free classes and helping out lads with questions. And I hope he enjoys his time in the Donegal Beach now this summer. <laughs> so.
a bit of a presentation that I think James is going to come up and help present a wee gift for Mr. Scully for the retirement. So. Um, you've cut me on the hop here. I, I, really, I, I wasn't expecting this, but as I said um, in my message in your booklets there, um, in my 41 years here in the high school, I have to say that you have been one of the most respectful and courteous and kindest folks that I have ever taught, and that's over 41 years. So this doesn't surprise me you know, that you're giving me this today. I really, really appreciate it. it I, I will always hold it in my heart and I will never forget it. Thank you very, very much. I feel highly honored that you have thought of me on your special day. Thank you very much and God bless you all. You've got to find what you love. And that is as true for your work as it is for your lovers. Your work is going to fill a large part of your life. And the only way to be truly satisfied is to do what you believe is great work. And the only way to do great work is to love what you do. If you haven't found it yet, keep looking. Don't settle. As with all matters of the heart, you'll know when you'll find it. And I do believe the Jews boys, and I hope that you find that true love in your life and that true passion in your life. And I have no doubt that so many is will.